Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Depth Repair video. In today's episode, we're going to be working on a Dell Inspiron laptop. Uh, this unit was mailed in to us for a charging port replacement. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start by removing all of the Phillips head screws. That looks like one's actually already missing here that hold the bottom case on. Uh, note that the two corner ones at the top are actually captive and they will not come out of the bottom case. Right, now we're going to take a pry or a plastic card and go ahead and open and separate the top case from the bottom case here. There we are. And the first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery from the motherboard here. That way the unit's safe to work on. We're going to peel up the tape and pull it straight back. There we are. So that's our battery disconnected. And now we can go ahead and start replacing our charging port here. Uh, to do so, we're going to take a, that same Phillips head screwdriver and remove the three screws that hold the LCD hinge down over the actual charging port. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the laptop in order to open up that hinge. Should be enough. We're going to remove the final screw holding in this charging port. We're going to remove it from the top case and unplug it from the main board there. Take our new port and repeat this process, but backwards. And now we're going to go ahead and line it up with the retention screw and secure it in place. If you guys are looking for any parts or tools you see in the video today, check us out at techdef.com or click the links below in the description. If you're interested in a mail-in repair similar to the one you see today or a data recovery service, check us out at techdep.com. We do it all every day. So after securing that screw into place, we're gonna simply close the LCD hinge. And your two guides are these two plastic nubs here in the center. As long as it fits down on those, you're good to go. We're gonna take the three screws and secure them back into the hinge. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay the bottom case back down. Before we do that, we're actually gonna plug in the battery. There we go. Now we can lay our bottom case down. It will snap into place. We're gonna start with the two captive screws at the top. Now we're just gonna go around the bottom case, securing it to the top case. Now we're gonna go get a charger and make sure that this unit charges and powers on. Okay, so we have our charger here. Let's go ahead and plug the unit in. So immediately I saw our charging light turn on, which is a good sign. Let's go ahead and open it up and turn it on. Catch lock is on, that's another good sign. The keyboard's backlit, and there we are. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdef.com or click the link below for mail and repairs. We'll see you guys in the next episode.